Hello ladies and genitals. Welcome back to my bedroom. Can you tell where I am? In Australia. I got back from Europe last night and I'm having Europe withdrawals and I'm jet lagged and I'm filming this video for you jet lagged at 9 p.m. You're welcome. I actually filmed this video when I was in Rome and then I got back and I realized I filmed it in the wrong setting. So disappointing of me. But anyway, let's endure this terrible lighting that consistently makes me look terrible. What the fuck? And I'm wearing my Harvard sweater because, you know, I've got to rep my alma mater. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, because it's cold in Australia. It's really, really cold. Take me back to European summer. <sighs> so, this is a topic I've just been pondering since I've been away. And it's the fact that if anyone online has an opinion or they speak out about something that is controversial, they are seen as problematic. And the influencers that don't speak out... In the moment, they may be seen as problematic because it's like, oh, hey, you're not talking about Palestine, you're not talking about Ukraine. But in the long term, because they never formed an opinion about this or publicly posted it, they aren't seen as problematic. It's really stupid. And the reason why that is, is because, you know, a lot of the issues, you know, they fade, new things come about. Like, in your memory, you're not seeing them as problematic. You don't really remember that they didn't speak out about things. Um, the influencers who are silent never share opinions, will always be seen with a halo around them. As an influencer myself, I really respect those who do speak up about things or just share their opinion in general. And I'm one of those people, I always share my opinion online. <laughs> and you know, it's always 50-50 with the feedback you're going to receive. Usually it's pretty good because, you know, your audience is probably similar to you, which is why you attract them. Say you do speak about certain things, people will then start to call you problematic. And I've had it on my priv, I don't really fucking care. Every single thing I say, I can defend, and I will fight anyone on that. If you can have your own opinion, totally fine. I would, I would love to debate it. But um, YouTube, Instagram, social media, it is so carefully curated nowadays, as are the celebrities and influencers, and you can't really trust everything you see. Like, I firsthand know, and I'm not going to name the influencer, but this is not uncommon, that their management would not let them talk about certain things and they're not even allowed to use certain words because it can trigger their audience. And that's why I hate online when people are like, oh, this influencer is so angelic and unproblematic. And then you have like this one here and blah, 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 blah. It's like, you don't even know what that influencer is truly, truly like. And if you work in like marketing or PR or an agency, that space, you also know how curated everything is and how a lot of these celebrities their PR teams will make them look a particular way or they will have a certain persona in the media as being like cool chill funny even though in real life they may not be like that at all but they make sure all the articles all the TikToks everything is constructed to make that person look that way I'm wearing pajamas anyway I just think people need to think more critically before they criticize someone for sharing their opinion and then labeling them as being problematic and then labeling other influencers as not being problematic because they were just silent. It's really easy to be loved by the public if you don't say a single thing. And it's even easier for media teams to then make you be seen as whatever they want because you have like a very clean slate. I guess it kind of leads into the mass thinking of the public and how Majority of the people online, in my opinion, they lack a lot of critical thinking. Anyways, if you guys are struggling to think critically, perhaps you need a therapist. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But this does lead into my BetterHelp sponsorship. But I'm sure BetterHelp can help you think more critically. I mean, my therapist did help me too. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is customized online video therapy. You can also do calls or text. And they have a broad range of expertise with a network of over 20,000 therapists that you probably wouldn't usually be able to access in your area. It's really easy to use. All you gotta do is fill out a questionnaire and within 48 hours, you're going to be matched with a therapist that is very tailored to your needs. For example, you can get a therapist that's LGBTQ friendly or they're Christian. One thing I really like is that you can do it over the phone or you can do 
on video chat but the best feature of all which is what i talk about it a lot is you can message them any time or day you want and that's not an extra charge it's included in everything you can also request a new ther therapist free of charge because therapy is like dating sometimes you need to try a few different therapists to find one that matches you i really encourage therapy you guys know in all of my videos pretty much i've talked about it and it is more evident in europe that perhaps I need a therapist instead of moving country. I'm kidding, I will move country anyway. Anyway, so join the 3 million people who are taking charge of their mental health today with BetterHelp. And so many people are using BetterHelp that they're actually recruiting so many new therapists in all the 50 states in America. So if you wanna use BetterHelp, you can use my link right here and get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. I guess it kind of leads into the mass thinking of the public and how majority of the people online in my opinion they lack a lot of critical thinking and you can kind of see it with the whole Amber Heard Johnny Depp situation and this is another video that I can talk about and I was gonna make it I said on my Instagram give it a week or two but soon people are gonna start supporting Amber Heard it's just the nature of the internet people just switch up and the more people switch up the more people follow and then they start to think oh maybe i was in the wrong about this situation guess what i didn't make the video but a week later that's when the tiktok started to come that's when people started to support amber now don't ask me my stance on the situation because i don't give a fuck and you know why i don't care because was i in the room with them was i in their relationship no we, we know they're both abusers right but people on the internet, they got to see everything in black and white. He's better than her. She's an angel. That person says something bad. They're a bad person. For example, this happens a lot with Andrew Tate. But, oh, I used to think he was bad. But then he said this one good thing. And I'm starting to think he's a good person. It's like, do you have a brain? I, I really think sometimes the internet makes people brainless. And even more so, people do go with mass opinion because it makes you feel safe. If you're in a group, you're always going to be safer. You're going to be more protected, right? You don't want to be like the lone wolf because your chances of survival are less and you will get picked out. So this is why most people, they would choose never to say anything problematic. They will, if you're an influencer, they will also go with the mass majority opinion, even if it is wrong. You know that psychological test where they like put people in the room and I think they showed a number of sticks on the screen. Let's just say it was three. Then they asked the audience how many sticks were on the screen and the audience was fake. So they had majority say, oh, that's five. And then the real people in the audience, they started to doubt themselves and then they were like, yeah, there's five. That's just what happens. And I have a lot of videos I will be making now that I'm back, which I think perhaps may be seen as controversial and I kind of love it. I love to spot controversy. I've always been like that. So, ooh, Simone is problematic because she talked about this. I'm waiting for those. I'm waiting for it. I guess like the point of this video is to never believe whatever you see on the internet. Stop thinking in black and white. He's bad, she's bad. I encourage you to also think critically before going along with mass opinion. Mass opinion is not always right. It's just the safer option online if you don't want to get like bullied by people. Also, don't really believe everything you see about celebrities or influencers personas because it can be very inaccurate and if they are higher up and I would say like over a million subs there's a really good chance that their media team is carefully watching what they post and also telling them not to upload certain things or say certain words think critically develop your own thoughts before coming to conclusions and fuck Andrew Tate <laughs> should I make a video on him I kind of want to but I'm really scared the incels are gonna find me in real life and like beat me up or something because men are kind of scary. Anyways, don't forget to use BetterHelp, sign up, take control of your mental health. I will be doing that as well. And Europe vlog, the major Europe vlog will be coming out next week. I'm super duper excited. And, and ich liebe dich, you guys. Fuck Andrew Tate. Ich liebe dich. Bye. Don't forget to shop my merch, slaysociety.com. Or it .co? I forgot. Fear, fun, fear, love, shout out box forever. Do the stronger for you. Norman Rockwell. No hype under. It's just me 
and you. you. I'm gonna miss you on my list. <laughs> Venice bitch. On the neighborhood kiss. No baby kiss kiss. You're in the yard, I like the fire. And as the summer fades away, nothing go can stay. You write, I tour, we make it work. You're beautiful and I'm insane. We're American made. Give me Hallmark One dream and a one lover Make me happy and blue Norman Rockwell No hide under the <laughs> cover Is that right? Mm, it's just yes. me and you Oh God, I'm so on my lips me a little gun of spinach on the street with the neighborhood kids. Selling off, they make it. You're in the yard. I like to fight as the sun fades away. You write, I do. We make it work. American made. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Selling off, bang, bang, kiss, kiss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Selling off, bang, bang, kiss, kiss. Oh, God, miss you on my lips. It's me a little kind of spit. On the stoop with a neighborhood kiss. Selling off, bang, bang, kiss, kiss. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Sun and off, bang, bang, kiss, kiss. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Because we're older, in the love of my diamonds, veterans and a clover. Whoa, 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 whatever. Everything, ever. Whoa, 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 whatever. Everything, ever. Whoa, 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 whatever. Everything, ever. Whoa, 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 whatever. Me, myself, I like diamonds, barricades, and a clover. <laughs> Burn over, honey. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. If you were a mine, I'd be jealous of your love. If you were mine, I'd be. Jealous of your love. If you were mine, I'd be jealous of your love. Roman, Roman, vacation. Mi hada madrina dijo que sí, este de aquí me hizo llorar, este otro me dice marica, este otro de mí piensa mal, esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan. Why are you broke? No excuse. I manifest everything. Have you ever heard of this book? Why are you poor? Why are you poor? The secret. Why are you poor? You know you can manifest money, brokey. Why are you poor? Manifest. 